hello guys once again welcome back to another android application development tutorial in this video here i am going to show you how to refresh the contents of a list to view using swipe refresh layout so we can use the swipe refresh layout for refreshing the contents of a list to view or a grid view so here in this episode here i am going to show you how to refresh the contents of a list to view using swipe refresh layout so we can start with a new android studio project specify your application name uh, here I name it as swipe refresh example select MD activity so here the project is created so first we need to add some string array into the strings.xml Uh, open resource folder, open values folder, open strings.xml. So inside strings.xml, here I place a four string array. First one contains some fruit names, uh, vegetable names, sweets names, and flower names. Okay, uh, now go to activity main.xml. And now here the root element is a constrained layout. So here I am going to change the root element into a linear layout. So for linear layout we have to specify the layout orientation. So here I need a vertical orientation. So now here I am going to place a list view inside a swipe refresh layout. So first thing we need to add the swipe refresh layout. Uh, specify width into match parent height also match parent now for the swipe refresh layout we have to specify an id so here i name it as swipe refresh layout so inside the swipe refresh layout here i am going to place the list view uh, within the match parent height of content uh, specify id for it i name it as items list view so we can check the preview okay so now here i am going to place a text view above the swipe refresh layout so here add a text view specify width into match parent height into wrap content now specify a text on it this is the title okay now specify the layout margin i need a margin of 12 dp now change the text size i change the text size into 18 sp now modify the text style i change the text style into bold now align the text at the center using gravity gravity attribute okay uh, now we need to specify an id for the text view I name it as items title okay so this is the layout for activity main.xml so now we need to create another layout for representing each items on the list view so here I'm going to create a separate layout for each items on the list view so right click the layout folder and create a new layout resource file instead of items just simply put item item layout so here the root element is a constrained layout i change that one into a text view so this layout represents each item on the list view 
uh, width is much parent height also much parent uh, for testing we can simply add a text on it uh, now specify the padding Uh, now change the text size I change the text size into 16 SP also modify the text style into bold so this text view display represents each items on the list view okay so now go back to main activity.java so here we have to declare the needed variables so first declare variables for swipe refresh layout i name it as refresh layout now create variable for list view i name it as list view now create a variable for text view i name it as title txt uh, now create some variables for the list view adapter so here we need some array adapter okay now we need some variables for list here I name it as list okay also here we need some integer variable I name it as refresh count I initialize that variable with the value 0 so now we can initialize the needed variables first initialize the swipe refresh layout find it uh, swipe refresh layout now we can initialize list view uh, here it is items list view uh, now we can initialize the title text view here it is items title okay so now here I'm going to create the even listeners for the swipe refresh layout so if the user swipes on the screen uh, there is we need to specify some listeners for the swipe refresh layout so here it is uh, refresh layout set on refresh listener so when the user swipe on the swipe refresh layout this method will invoke the on refresh method will invoke so from the on refresh method we can refresh the contents of the list view so here I'm going to create a separate method for refreshing the contents of the list view uh, I name it as refresh items okay so here I'm going to place a switch case statement so here we analyze the content of this integer variable called refresh count so specify the first case if refresh count is 0 so in that case we are going to display the first list on the uh, list view so here we can initialize the list uh, so list equal to uh, arrays dot as list get resources uh, get string array r dot array dot uh, first we are going to display the vegetables list now we are modify the title text vegetables tables list uh, I think it is vegetable list okay so this is the first condition and break it now specify the second condition so if the refresh count is 2 in that case we are going to display another list 
uh, suite's name. So here we change the title into uh, suite's list. So here it is case one. Now specify the tailed case. So here change the list. Uh, fruits names. So change the title into fruits list. Now here is the last condition. Uh, case three. I think it is flower names. So change the title into flower list. Okay. So after the switch case statement, first here I am going to modify the uh, refresh count variable. I am going to increase the value of refresh count variable by 1. So after that, uh, we can initialize the adapter for the list view. So adapter equal to new array adapter. First parameter is the context. Second parameter is the layout resource for the for display the items. So here uh, we create our own text view called uh, that is available inside this layout called uh, item layout. So specify the resource name. I, uh, here it is item layout and final parameter is the list of item. It is available on this list okay now the adapter is ready now we can set the adapter on the list view so list view dot set adapter and pass the adapter okay so here i uh, change i check one condition also if refresh count uh, if refresh count greater than three In that case, uh, we are going to reset the value of refresh count variable into zero. So after refreshing the item, we have to tell the swipe refresh layout the item refresh is finished now. For that, we have to call a method called uh, here it is refresh layout. Uh, refresh layout dot uh, set refreshing into false because it already we already finished the uh, refresh operation okay so and finally we can call that method from the on refresh method so refresh items so now we can check the application okay before going to test it here we are going to display something on the title text so title text dot set to text uh, swipe to refresh okay now we can test it so here the virtual device is ready run the project Okay, now the application available on this virtual device. So now here I am going to perform a swipe. So this is the first list. Now here is the second list. And here you can see when I swipe, uh, there is a progress view also available within this swipe refresh layout. So this is the sweet list. This is the fruits. Here is the flower list. Again the list continues repeat again. Okay, so this is how we using a swipe refresh layout for refreshing the contents of a list view or a grid view. I hope you understand the concepts of how to using a swipe refresh layout with a list view. For getting more Android tutorial updates, please subscribe this channel now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.